And welcome back to the Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over the drug metoprolol, also known as low presser. Think low presser. This drug is classified as a cardioselective beta-1 blocker and is given for hypertension, congestive heart failure, angina pectoris or chest pains, and acute MI or heart attack. It cannot be given to patients who have severe bradycardia or second, third degree AV heart blocks. Remember that the AV node is how the top half of our heart and the bottom half of our heart communicate with each other. In pregnant women, the safety of this drug has not been confirmed. Now, we need to know that this drug binds to our beta-1 receptors in our heart. Remember our scissor acronym? beta-1 receptors speed up our heart rate. When we block our beta-1 receptors in our heart, we will decrease our chronotropy, or our heart rate in the SA node. We will decrease our dromotropy, or conduction, through the AV node. And we will decrease our contractility, or inotropy, in the ventricles. You should be aware that patients should not abruptly discontinue this medication, and I'll tell you why. This is because if we have been blocking our beta-1 receptors for so long, our body thinks that it needs to make more because the receptors that it has made are not working. This is called upregulation. Therefore, if we were to take away the blockers all of a sudden, all of the old and new receptors will become available. Therefore, our heart rate in our SA node would increase, our conduction through our AV node would increase, and our contractility would increase. This means that in some of your older patients who have atherosclerotic heart disease, this means that they might experience angina and possibly even an MI. We should know that this drug, this drug has an onset of about 20 minutes to an hour, depending on the route, and it has effects that can last up to about six hours. The side effects of this drug may include dizziness, headache, bradycardia, hypotension, and diarrhea. Some commonly tested material about this drug is that it should not be discontinued immediately. You should check the heart rate before administering the medication and you should monitor for bradycardia and hypotension after administering the medication. And lastly, this drug can block signs of hypoglycemia. Think fast heart rate. So, monitor your diabetic patients. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today, and remember to like and subscribe for more content.